On Wednesday, October 16, an earthquake with a magnitude of 5.9 occurred in the eastern part of Turkey. According to the Turkish Disaster and Emergency Management Authority, the epicenter of the earthquake was located in the city of Kale, Malatya province, approximately 47 kilometers east of the city of Malatya, which has a population of about 441,000 people. The earthquake's focus was at a depth of 9 kilometers, which increased its impact on the surrounding areas. The earthquake was felt not only in Malatya province, but also in neighboring regions, including large cities such as Diyarbakir, Elazig, Shamla Urfa, and Tunsheli. The tremors also reached some northern areas of Syria, causing panic there as well. As a result of the tremors, many residents ran into the streets, overwhelmed with panic, fearing aftershocks. In some cities, people spent several hours outside on the streets and in parks, afraid to return to their homes due to the risk of building collapses. Even an hour after the earthquake, residents continued to stay in open spaces. Authorities responded immediately to the situation. The Turkish Ministry of Internal Affairs reported that around 190 people were injured to varying degrees. Of those, 43 people were taken to hospitals for observation, but no serious injuries were recorded. In Ilazig and Malatya, several people sustained minor injuries while trying to escape the destruction, jumping out of windows in a panic. According to the Ministry of Emergency Situations, four buildings in the provinces of Malatya, Shanlurfa, and Elazig were damaged as a result of the earthquake. In one building in Elazig, four people were trapped, but rescue teams quickly freed them, and fortunately, none of them were injured. Emergency services personnel continue to monitor all buildings for potential damage or weak structures to prevent further incidents in case of possible aftershocks. In response to the earthquake, authorities decided to temporarily close schools in Malatya and Elazig to assess the safety of the buildings. This is a standard precautionary measure, as earthquakes are common in Turkey, and after significant tremors, it is necessary to ensure that buildings are safe for use. Turkey is located at the intersection of two major tectonic faults, the North Anatolian and East Anatolian faults. These faults make the country one of the most seismically active zones in the world. Earthquakes occur frequently here, and many of them can be devastating. The most tragic earthquake in Turkey's history occurred in 1999 in the northwestern part of the country, when tremors with a magnitude of 7.6 claimed the lives of more than 17,000 people. This earthquake became one of the most destructive in the country's modern history. Afterward, the Turkish authorities reinforced safety measures and introduced strict building codes aimed at strengthening structures and buildings to protect them from earthquakes. It is important to note that in February of 2023, Turkey already experienced one of the strongest earthquakes in recent decades. This earthquake with a magnitude of 7.8 affected the eastern and southern provinces of the country, including Malatya, causing massive destruction and claiming the lives of more than 53,000 people, including those affected in northern Syria. Following this tragedy, many buildings in the affected provinces were either demolished or reinforced, as their structures could no longer withstand further tremors. This helped reduce potential damage in the event of subsequent earthquakes, as happened on October 16th. 
Malacha Governor Sadar Yavuz noted that thanks to efforts to strengthen buildings after last year's earthquake, the damage was minimized and many homes were preemptively evacuated or demolished, saving many lives. Turkish seismologists warn that the likelihood of new major earthquakes in the country remains high.